Reno, I'm product manager at Sling Media. So you're product manager on this yeah. new product. What yes. is this? Sling Touch Control 100 is a new touchscreen uh, universal remote that basically gives you the power of everything you could do with a traditional remote uh, through the, the on-screen interface for your DVR in a touchscreen platform. So on the remote, I can say, if I want to watch live TV, I say, okay, what's on now? And I can set filters, which are basically like favorites. I can say, okay, show me all the movies that are on right now. Really? Like, uh, if you have 200 channels, it can figure it out? Yeah, it'll figure, it'll go through all the, the program guide and figure out all the movies. Go Over the internet? Bit, well, yes, all yeah. uh, 8 or 11 wireless yeah. connected. Is it working right now? Is it normal right now? Uh, it's taking a little longer than normal There's because of the wireless. Problem, right? Yeah, there's... This is a trade show. And... Yep. Did you find it? Let's hit the movies filter yeah. again. I should also preface it, pre uh, preface it? this early prototype. Early, early prototype. prototype. There's only two of these in existence right now today. Two. two. And so this is one of them. The other one's under the counter. So there you go. That's all the movies that are on right now that I have ac that I can watch live. Uh, I have the HD filter turned on, so it's only showing the HD. Yeah. If I wanted to see HD and SD, I just tap that guy. But you and don't care about the if it's only HD. It can be anyone. So if you want to watch Pokemon the movie, you click, and what happens? You click it, okay, so they, you get a little more details, and you say watch. It's going to come up. I don't, like the Pokemon, really? There you it's go. It's just going to come up? It's just going to come up on the TV. And so now, on screen on the remote, you get your, your basic DVR controls, and I can... You pause it? Pause. Oops. Live pause. Hi. And now it's not working. Play shifting, it's called, right? Yeah, there we go. Pause, play. Uh, if you needed more of the, the controls for your traditional on-screen stuff, like if a message box popped up, for example, on the DVR, you can flip to a slightly different remote that gives you... These types of features, like, uh, world's first. Uh, it is. Uh, as far as I know, there's no device out there that does it today. Your idea. Yes. Yep. So, we, so we actually have a version of this... Uh, the, the user interface that runs on the iPod Touch today. And so uh, we took that and ported it to our own platform. The other thing that this remote does is full universal IR controls. So not only can I use it to control the DVR, but I can control my, oops, let me just cancel this, pressing too many buttons here. So not only can I use it to control my DVR, uh, but I can also control the volume on my TV. If I have a Sony Blu-ray player, I can configure the remote to, to control the Sony player. So for example, I say, okay, I'm in my living room and I have a Sony, Sony Blu-ray player, so I want to control my Sony device. Pops up an on-screen version of the actual Sony remote control, and so I can control all of my other so devices in my AV limited amount well. of uh, different devices you can support or uh, no there's there's tens of thousands of devices really? it's yeah it's and it's it's connected to the web and so it'll go out to the web and look for whatever device you tell it you have if we don't have the the IR controls for it you can learn new IR remotes or oh, you get your money back <laughs> or you get your money back <laughs> no, no. I don't know. but how about, how about this? that's not up to us what is uh, so you connect it there to charge it? that's the charging dock right and you can actually use the remote while it's in the, in the charging dock we try to design it in a way that you can kind of leave it there and, you know, navigate while it's charging as well. But you don't play any videos in here, right? Uh, the, the no, no hardware, well, the hardware, exactly. It's meant to be a remote where you're sitting in front of your TV. The hardware does actually support video playback, but when we launch the product, there's not going to be the software interface to, to play. Could, it could be cool if, if the, the kids want to watch a cartoon and the parents want to watch the news, yeah. then the kids can take this in the other room or something and do the sling thing. Yeah, it's there's definitely a lot of cool things you can do. With dual channel. Absolutely. It could yep. happen. It, it's it's technically possible. Technically for sure. possible. Yep. And uh, so, how much do you think this could cost? Is it like cheap or it's, at the moment? It's, it's completely outside of yeah. our control. So yeah. we sell the product to, to TV uh, yeah. service providers, and they decide what to sell it for. And uh, it's not based on Android. Uh, no, it, it does run embedded Linux though. So it's embedded Linux? Yeah. And uh, how long do you think the battery life can be? We're shooting for 8 to 10 hours of regular yeah. use and without, just without being there. charged, right? I mean, if you're at home? Right, Ho okay. hopefully. We try to design it in a way that, you know, it's convenient to, to sort of leave it in there yeah. and use it. But just in case it's very low on battery. So you just leave it there if you have to. 
for four for a little while. That's cool. Uh, awesome. Uh, is there any information about uh, like uh, if you can no. like? You design it differently or like to make different versions? It's just a prototype it's example, really or uh, it's up to who to decide products, how it will uh, finally be. Uh, is it Dish deciding or is who's deciding? Well, so so we design the hardware and the user experience so we can brand it yeah. for, for Dish or for whoever else you know wants to buy the product from us. All over the world. Uh, all uh, all over the world. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So there's. We can only sell it through service providers because there's software that has to run on the set-top box as well. And so we can't just sell this product in retail. Cool. Uh, but, but yeah, it can be but branded. But you need the Wi-Fi at home. Yes. You need, you need Wi-Fi wi at home. And you, you type in the WPA password when you set it up, yep. for example, if yep. you need to and stuff like that. Uh, and it, it, all the features hello. that you have here are exactly let's, the same as the iPad this. touch? Um, Do you have an Android app as well? The, the universal IR control yeah. is only here, but, but the features and everything else, yeah. Okay. In fact, the iPod Touch... It does not have an IR, of course. Right, it doesn't have IR. Yeah. Uh, but the iPod Touch, if we actually had... That app is done and available now. We've had that out. Uh, we just launched in January. How many people are using the iPod Touch? Uh, I have no, it just launched January 4th, so... Oh yeah, three days. So there it is, and you just type in the password or whatever, and that, yep. then it works. That's cool. Okay, thanks. Thank you for